Welcome back to the Culture of Currency, where today we have a silver unboxing. We love unboxings here. This is a silver bullion unboxing. Remember, next video I'm going to be unboxing $100 worth of generic silver as we do a head-to-head -head comparison to figure out which is best over time. Silver bullion from around the world or generic silver, both right at $100 a piece and perpetuity. So let's go ahead and get into it not waste any time. This I uh, purchased from Atmex because that's what I've always done. Um, Sometimes we do find that they are a bit more expensive uh, in premiums, but what you get for that is oftentimes a way more diverse uh, set of coins than I can find anywhere else in the marketplace, including oftentimes eBay, especially when it comes to newer coins. So in here, we should have two months worth of silver bullion, so that's $600 worth, and the reason for that is because that's how I get free shipping. I have to order uh, usually $200 worth, which is two months worth uh, to get free shipping. So first we have our shipping label here. It tells us what we got. All right, now let's get to the fun stuff. All kinds of fun silver in here. Up first, we have a 2023 Barbados Silver Pelican. I went heavy uh, in Barbados in this order, and the reason is, is because I absolutely love Barbados. I think Caribbean silver is one of the most undervalued areas of the world when it comes to silver bullion. And I think that Barbados does the best job. I have a handful of coins from Barbados already and I've always loved them. This is the Silver Pelican of Barbados. I paid $30.64 for this bad boy. Just a beauty. The detail is exquisite. I have, for some reason, a fascination with this long-billed bird. I don't know what it is uh, other than maybe recollections to my childhood, but the pelican has always been one of my absolute favorites. Let me get a good picture here for you. There he is. More, more particularly the brown pelican, always one of my favorites, but yes, this is a pelican. Uh, Caribbean silver, as you see, we have beautiful ornate waves going here. 2023 denomination just right off the center there. The Barbados coat of arms, just a gorgeous coin. Let's go ahead and just put them over here for now on a stand. What do we have next? Yes, from the nation of Barbados. This is a green monkey, a 2023. A lot of the 2024 stuff had not come out yet when I made this order. And I will say that the turnaround is fantastic, and maybe it's because I'm an elite member with Atmex, uh, but I got these the day after I ordered them. Maybe two days at the most, I don't remember, but it was that fast. All right, so this is the Green Monkey. I have not had any of the Green Monkey series, and so this is my first, uh, and very excited for this. There's not many primates in the island of Barbados and so this was one that I thought was really cool to get and I cannot wait to do a video over it because I don't know anything about this particular monkey and that would be one that I'll get to learn about and hopefully get to bring to you. Really cool, just like the other one, very standard coat of arms on this side. Beautiful coin. Next, another part of the Barbados 
nature series. This is one I also did not have. I do have a coin like this from Grenada, but I do not have one from Barbados. So there we are. We've come to know and love that. This is the Caribbean silver octopus. Really cool design. Love the way the light plays with this one. Absolutely gorgeous. So this was $30.64, and just because I forgot to tell you, the monkey was actually $31.68, so a little bit more pricey for the monkey. Uh, and these are very low mintage. I want to say they're like 10000 or less. I really don't remember. Uh, they might be 5000 But when I do the video over them, we will definitely talk about that. Hopefully, one, if not all of these, will be an elite coin, but the 60-point scale decides that, not me. So we shall see. So that's my third and final coin from Barbados for this order. Absolutely love that. Up next we have the 2023 Silver Opera House. This is from Sydney. I saw this on Matt Thompson's channel, Thompson Coin, or, or maybe it was Bullion Now down in Australia. One of the two. Um, and I had to pick that one up. Look how pretty that is. One of the most iconic structures in architecture in the entire world. Very identifiable. Uh, it'll be very fun to make this video. And one of the reasons I was drawn to it is I used to perform in some operas back in the day. Uh, fun fact about me, I uh, was a vocalist. Well, I guess technically still am. This, obviously, Queen Elizabeth. We have the years of her reign right there. This is after she passed. And that is the Opera House coin. Very, very awesome coin. And this one was actually, um, as a low mintage coin from Australia, fairly cheap as well. $31.16. Not bad there. And I want to say spot was right at $24, just to give you an idea, uh, when I made this order. We have a bullion coin here. This is going to be an antique bullion coin from Samoa, Jesus the Teacher. I've looked at this coin for a long time, and this time it was actually the same price as the non-antique version. Uh, it was $32.72, and this is a very low mintage coin from Samoa. Absolutely gorgeous. It has that antique finish, which I think is fantastic. Look at that. Just fantastic. And there he is. Gorgeous coin. This is, uh, I believe, Byzantine art. I'll have to verify that when I do my research video on it. But one of the most beautiful coins um, I have seen because it is so historic in the depiction of the artwork. Um, something that you would see in churches and things like that of a certain time period all over. But I did not have this coin, and I have wanted it for some time. Now we have it. That'll be a very fun one to bring to you. I think Samoa does a fantastic job. Put him down here as well. We have here, this is 2023 St. Helena. Uh, I believe these are Pop Joy Mint coins. Maybe not, but I want to say they are. And so I wonder how that's going to be handled in the future. Maybe Scottsdale take it over. But this is a lion-tailed macaque. Let me go ahead and get him in a capsule, and then I will bring him to you so that you can see it better. All right, so here we are. We've got a beautiful rendition of Mr. King Charles here on the front. Really cool checkered background there, as you can see. And on the back we have a continuation of the checkered background and we have our macaque, which is an animal I have not had in my collection. I've had many primates, many monkeys, um, but this macaque is one I have not had. So that'll be a really cool one. Beautiful coin. They do a great job here at St. Helena. Whoever's the one doing their design has really been spot on for quite some time now. So this is a really beautiful coin. I absolutely love it. Uh, and it is one that I am very excited to bring to you. And our last of this unboxing is right here. We see 
this has the little card. This is a 2023 Austrian uh, silver forget-me-not flower. That's kind of what we have here. Münze Österreich, right? Austrian mint. Let's go ahead and get him opened up. Try not to bend the card too much. All right. Mit der Sprache der Blumen. I don't know how good my German is. Austrian stacker will have to correct me. But this is a very beautiful, let me see if I can zoom out here, a very beautiful put together coin. It is not fully silver, but I want to say it's like 50% silver, somewhere around there. Um, there's the forget me not flower. This is something I've never done before, is get one of these beautiful little cards. Obviously we have a lot of German there, as that's what they speak in Austria. Um, but this is, oh good, they do have English here. This is a flower that I've always remembered as being symbolic to the military and other organizations that I have been affiliated with. And so it is one that I think is gorgeous and one that I think my daughter one day will love. Uh, and so I had to round out my order, my $200 order, and this was the perfect product to do that so I don't go too far over my order limit uh, while still getting more silver. This is more of a collector issue, as you know, it is a low mintage variety. Uh, and it is gorgeous, and so I did pick it up. That's a cool little embossing right there. But that is what we have today. We have picked up one, two, three, four, five, six, seven coins for 200 ish dollars for this order. Let me see if I can get a little recap. There we are. We've got the uh, Opera House, the Octopus, the Green, or sorry, the Macaque, the Green Monkey. We've got the Pelican, the Jesus, and this Forget Me Not Flower. That has been this order. Um, very, very fun stuff. I'll be making videos over all of these in the future. And I hope that you've enjoyed this as well. Our next video will be the unboxing of $100 worth of generic silver which we will compare against a month worth of this. And then next month I'll be doing another $100 of generic silver versus what we have here. And then keep going on from there. It'd be very interesting to see, you know, if I have a coin like this that had a $6 um, premium on it, over time does this actually gain the value that we lost in that premium to where it's better off over time than generic. That'll be an interesting one. but. Thank you so much for watching, and as always, please remember to stay classy and current with the culture of currency.